So here's by far the oddest idea I've ever had. This is by far the strangest idea I've ever conceived. One of, well, actually, no, I've had weirder. But this would be probably my weirdest so far. This would be the one that, you know, ranks as one of my top ten weirdest ideas ever. As you can see right there, yeah, I'll cross over between Loud House and Jurassic Park. This is a fanfiction idea that kind of spawned in my head shortly after watching the first few episodes of The Loud House. And I gotta admit, I do like the show. I really do. I like the slice of life feel to it. And again, like I said in my review, I love how it's not in, in, the sisters aren't antagonistic. It's just how a family works. And yeah, I really do like it. So this idea just kind of happened. It wasn't like, oh, I watched a bunch of Loud House and then I capped it all off watching Jurassic Park. No, this was more along the lines of, um, this was more along the lines of, <laughs> it just happened. It just kind of happened. It wormed its way into my mind. And again, it's one of those crossover ideas that I had that, you know, there's some cool scenes and I got a basic plot, but, you know, it's hard to connect all those, sto you know, story elements together. It's really hard to really just, you know, connect all those little story elements together. So you're probably wondering, well, what's the general plot of this, DPZ? What is the general plot of this fan fiction you have? Well, the general idea is that the story revolves around, um, it revolves around, the general idea, well, there's actually two, I'll get into both of them. The first being that, um, it's, in both, a, in both versions, it's a, it's Lisa's birthday, Lisa Loud's birthday. If you guys know, Lisa is the smart one that looks pretty much like a miniature, um, she looks like a miniature, uh, Velma from Scooby-Doo. And it's her birthday, and she wants to go to Jurassic Park. You know, she wants to go to Jurassic Park for her birthday. Or in the other version, Jurassic World. Now, in the first version, it's just your generic version of Jurassic Park where everything turned out well, and there's a, there's a thriving park, and then everything goes to hell. The other version is that it's like a... It's kind of like in the vein of the, of the uh, Star Wars Phineas and Ferb story where, you know, they were in that universe, and in throughout it... It was them going through the same motions as the same elements of a new Ho of Star Wars: A New Hope. So it was set during. So in this one, it would be set in the events of Jurassic World. So they would be dealing with the <laughs> pretty much the same elements of Jurassic World, but it would be like the sister story of what happened while while we while in the movie that tells the story of what happened with Owen and those two really annoying kids and all of them. For the Loud family, this would be their version if they went to the park and everything went and everything was going to hell, and them surviving the park as you know the Irex is tearing through everything and how they would survive it. You know that's kind of how it would be. Is that they? It's them trying to survive this. You know the chaos going on. So either one of those ideas really is um, is is kind of valid in their own rights. the hell is that? <laughs> anyway. So, that's how it kind of, Sorry, I just got distracted real quick. But yeah, the I, that's how the general... And that's kind of the general idea. Now, I did... If I did do this story, I would definitely bring in a lot of dinosaurs and prehistoric animals I've kind of wanted to see in the Jurassic Park films, like the Sarcosuchus, the giant crocodile. Um, I would even bring in the... You know, I would use... You know... A, <laughs> I would use like the Titan boa or some or even an Allosaurus or something of that nature. I don't know, like um that's what I would do more or less. Now, with both uh, with both um ideas you have pros and cons. Well, I don't know if it would be a con not to use the Irex, but yeah. The idea would be that I you know, the Loud family would be split up. The Loud family would generally be split up and throughout the story you follow them at one side, of, you know, one group of the family, it's, it's, ten, it's, um, what is it, ten? Yeah, it's eleven of them, technically. It's eleven kids. So you follow one group, which, I don't know which would consist of the other. Lincoln would be in one of the groups, obviously. And you follow the two groups of the families as they're trying to hook back w up with each other on both, on opposite sides of the park, and they're trying to survive. You know, they're fighting their way through all these escaped dinosaurs, and stuff happens. You're probably wondering, well, it's 11 kids, someone's gotta go, right? Someone's... You see, that's the thing. I'm not really big of the whole character death in fanfiction. It just doesn't... It never it never sits well with me. I don't know why. 
um, it's never really sat well with me unless you're doing a very AU story. Unless you're doing an AU story and it calls for it, then you can do a character death. Then I feel like that's when a character... But when you're... It feels... When you're trying to make it feel like a... When you're trying to make it feel like a story, and yeah, I would try my best to make this feel like a Loud House story, um, it kind of, you know, it kind of runs into that problem. <laughs> also, I thought, you know, Jurassic Loud, that would be... I know, it's a super corny title. I don't care. I, lo I Like, the moment I thought of this story, I'd be like, I'd call this Jurassic Loud. Because it's it's it would be a, yeah it's a stupid title, but yeah also Lenny would constantly be mistaking all the dinosaurs for giant geckos or birds, and she wouldn't be wrong. Obviously, she wouldn't be wrong. Dinosaurs are descendants of birds, so she'd be you know she'd be like this would be the moment where Lisa would look at Lenny after being after seeing a T Rex and be like ooh it's a giant turkey, and, and Lisa would be like mm, technically you're not wrong. Yay! I'm smart. <laughs> that would j that would be the the how the conversation would go down. But yeah, it would more or less it would be the sisters depending on one another to survive on this island filled with a bunch and I do need a bunch of dinosaurs. Yeah. <laughs> so that's how I kind of so that's how um this story would play out if I ever got around to write it. Again, it's another idea. It's another really kick-ass idea, but the problem is, is that same with the other two I've talked about with the Batman and Alucard, the Batman and Helsing one, as well as the Godzilla Gravity Falls fan fiction ideas. The problem is that, you know, it's a cool premise and there's, I've got some really uh, cool ideas for scenes it's just that, you know, it's gotta, you gotta connect the threads. As a writer, you really have to learn, you know, cool scenes are cool scenes. And it's, and if you do them right, they're really epic. Or if you have really cool pieces of dialogue. But the problem is, is that you have to, con you know, as a writer, you have to connect those scenes and make them make sense. You can't just bust out in the first chapter going, hey, Lenny, you know, Lori's gonna go fight a, you know, is gonna fight a velociraptor Ellen Ripley style. Doesn't that sound fun? First chapter, we're doing that right out the gate. No! Unless you want to get right to the action, but yeah, that you know, you, there is such a thing as build up, you know. So that's kind, you know, that's kind of the thing is that oh yeah, cool scene. Where and when would be an appropriate appropriate place to put such a story, you know, put such a chapter in this story. So that's um, that's kind of the big quandary. Maybe I'll do this, but yeah, it's kind of a really it's a really ridiculous idea. I don't know if I'll ever do this story. I mean, the Loud House is still a relatively new cartoon. And yeah, the problem with doing Jurassic Park fan fiction is that you either do it do it in a universe where the park succeeded and the characters are there when everything goes to hell, or they end up on the island and you know have to survive on it. You know, it's either one of those things, really. And yeah, that's kind of, you know that's kind of the big crux right there is that Jurassic Park doesn't really go anywhere, and it would feel weird if it went anybody went went anywhere else. Anyway. So what do you guys think? What did you guys think? Uh, what do you guys think of this Jurassic Park, this weird ass Jurassic Park Loud House idea? You guys like it? You guys hate it? Um, but yeah, just another one of my weird ass ideas that I may or may not come back to. Anyway, once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I'm out.